I'm the detachment commander of ODA 7326. So what I liked about the training areas here um, is that it allowed us to uh, utilize the same platforms that we were, were going to use in Afghanistan um, in our upcoming deployment um, and just the realistic nature uh, and detail that was put into a lot of the urban sites that, that we've been to. Oh, the training areas are phenomenal. Uh, the Range 220, the structures they have out there are, are absolutely incredible. What do I think about the training areas here at the combat center? Well, they're phenomenal. They really are. They, they provide a team like ours with the opportunity to train in an environment that's very similar to what we would be experiencing downrange. Vice team was good. We started with the tower, then moved on to the uh, to the helos. Uh, it's always fun when you can get up in the air with, with some uh, with some helos, some some good pilots, and uh, practice something that you know not a lot of people get to do. The raid with the marines was was fun. But those guys were more than willing to learn. They were quick learners. They were hard workers. They knew exactly what we needed them to do. It showed in the raid itself. proud of what we do, what Special Forces does. My brothers on this team are an amazing group of dudes, incredibly competent, incredibly smart, and they're adaptable. For every man at some point in his life, they witness something that drives them to, to want to do more with what they have. For me, that moment came. So why did I join Special Forces? SF looked like that option. SF was that option. And I think if I would not have chosen it, I think I would have done a disservice to myself. Really push the boundaries of what I thought was capable, fulfill that drive that I believe every man feels to be at the edge of his capabilities. Ask how the Special Forces community is, is, that's asking for a big ball. I mean, you meet some of the most amazing people that you did not know existed in this community.